Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the internet, welcome back to the channel. Micah Morris and Taylor Made Drums. We got a situation we're going to be discussing today that it's just too interesting not to talk about. So be sure, guys, hit that subscribe button, stick around. It's it's definitely going to be an interesting one to hear your thoughts on. But before we jump into that, uh, we got news. We got YouTube golf news. Not only the Micah Taylor Made stuff, but we got lots more YouTube golf news couple quick things before we get started number one yes i'm in a vest again it's minus 15 today in vancouver it's so cold so i'm just as warm as possible thing two last video with the christmas tree i promise so many people yeah christmas tree oh saving it for next year huh? no i appreciate the witty comments but i've said it before christmas tree pickup is the 13th which is tomorrow so this is gonna be my last video with the christmas tree and thing number three mac boucher right here and yes i'm saying his last name right no me the canadian who's also friends with mac is not saying his name wrong it's not boucher it's boucher it's mac boucher his video is playing behind me he uploaded this thing last night uh you know he's still starting his youtube channel so views come in slowly but the dude's got like almost eight thousand views in the first like, 15 hours which for a new YouTube channel is really solid. The guy's breaking into YouTube. I'm a big fan of him. Obviously I did that day in the life with him, but his content's just really entertaining. So I feel like having his video playing over my shoulder and letting him hit 90 yard slingers for you guys will be entertaining, but be sure to check it out. I'll link it down below. He's uploading and really trying to push his YouTube stuff. So be sure to support him. Anyways, let's dive into the news. First piece of news, we touched on this in the last video. We uploaded right after the four play tiger video. Listen, it's been what, two days now, not even. Videos got over a million views. Four plays videos in the past with these TaylorMade athletes have done quite well over time, but I don't think one has ever picked up this quickly, crossed a million views in like, I don't know, what's it been, like less than 48 hours. Frankie actually showed a screenshot of, in YouTube we get like statistical analysis of all our videos and you always get compared to your previous 10. And so his basically like whatever it is, like 40 hour real time view count of the Tiger video versus their last three, including three man scramble versus Sam Burns is hilarious, It's which is kind of crazy to see. But anyways, that video is killing it. The twist, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm about to spoil it for you, but Tiger just is like, hey Riggs, let's do a long drive and I'm just gonna drop down to my knees. And if you haven't seen that yet, you're just not living on the internet because that clip has been absolutely everywhere. But it's just cool to see, it's cool to see from these guys because this video has definitely broken past just YouTube golf. This is way more than a YouTube golf video. That's to be expected because these guys are part of Barstool and Barstool is just an internet entity that stretches way beyond YouTube. Like they have platforms across all different social media channels but they've also been part of the real world forever like they have tie like obviously portnoy is like a mainstream celebrity pretty much kind of i'd say like a low a high b-list celebrity he has connections with tom brady and bill belichick and all these like just mainstream people he's done some crazy stuff like they definitely have the ability to go more mainstream get on news networks and that's what this video has done but ultimately that is good for youtube golf because it's a youtube video from foreplay who is part of Barstool, but who has recently been really trying to dive in more to YouTube. The Foreplay channel now is exclusively videos made for YouTube. It's not podcasts, it's not podcast clips, it's not just whatever they need to throw out for advertisers. It's actually like good quality YouTube videos. So this is going to be funneling people in to YouTube golf and the timing for all the other creators is great. Like the fact that this video is going so viral, well, Grant and Micah are uploading videos with Nelly Corda, with Ricky Fowler, those are already up today. Maybe even by the time I'm putting this video live, the video with Grant and Colin will be live. If not, it's coming live later today. I don't know what that challenge is, but that's coming out. And then obviously we have the Rory and Micah Morris video, which I actually think next to this Tiger video is probably going to get the most views out of any of them. I'm kind of surprised, like the Ricky Val the Ricky Fowler video and the Nella Corda video for Grant and Micah respectively, they're doing well, but I kind of thought it would be like maybe a faster like push on those videos, but I don't know, we'll see. I think the, the Rory and Micah video will be the best out of all of them next to the Tiger video. It's definitely not gonna pass the Tiger video, but I think it has the potential to go the most viral because I mean, it's Rory McIlroy, he's rarely ever on camera. Four plays biggest video was is still the Rory McIlroy one club challenge they did and so the fact they have or Micah has Rory is a big thing but the fact he's like competing against him in a way where he can actually compete against him like I think that's part of the problem is like when these guys like Grant and Micah no offense to them but when they're challenging pros to like a match it's kind of like all right like cute but like you know you're not gonna win and like even if you do it's like kind of, I don't know, people are like, it's fluke because like you would obviously, they're way better golfers. It'd be like me challenging Grant to a match. It's like, or challenging Garrett to a match. It's like, that's cute. Good luck. It's not going to happen. So anyways, 
I think maybe that diminishes the interest a, a touch, just a little bit. I think it could also increase the interest for some people, but I'm getting off the topic here. The topic is that Micah can actually fully compete with Rory when it comes to hitting the ball a long distance. The dude has Rory McIlroy numbers on the driver. And so I think that fascination mixed with the fact that Rory is just, he pulls views, that video is going to go super viral. I do not think anything will touch this Tiger video with foreplay. I think also just the backstory with everything with foreplay and this video is huge. And I think that's just going to drive forward people. So interesting to see, kind of on an aside note, I don't really know what Callaway's doing. Like why, why, why doesn't, I mean, they must not have a similar ish media day setup, but I mean, Bob does sports put out that video last or two weeks ago or whatever with Shoffley and Rom in it. And I mean, they did that the year before as well. And good, good did have something last year when they announced the, the Callaway deal, but I don't, it was like one video and they were just kind of in for like one hole. Like, I don't really know why Callaway isn't capitalizing on the ability to have these guys which who are bigger creators. Like you have good, good and Bob does sports. They are the two biggest branded entities in the space right now and they're getting less access from what it looks like on the outside than you know Micah, Foreplay and Grant and that just seems kind of backwards to me like I know TaylorMade has historically been like a, a pretty much the king of marketing when it comes to golf stuff and they're very good at it and they're sly and they're they're up to date and everything and maybe Callaway's a little more old school I don't know but it feels like they're really wasting an opportunity here by not having like John Rahm on you know good good for like a Ryder Cup or a, a good, good major or whatever. Like, you know, like some maybe add in a handicap. Like I know I just finished talking about the fact that pro playing non-pros is comical, but you could add in a handicap or whatever. My point is, is that I'm very curious why they don't do more and allow their people to do more. So I don't know, comment your thoughts on that one down below, but let's get back to TaylorMade and let's talk about what you clicked on this video for, TaylorMade and Micah Morris drama. So listen, ever since they signed this guy, Micah has been followed by like a dark cloud of like good, good faithfuls and just people who were very upset with him leaving good, good and the way he left good, good. And I think now looking at it from a year past, the ambiguity that was left around why he left and really just like a little bit of Micah just like not being able to communicate himself the best on camera like he's admitted many times his strength is not talking it's not communicating and he's come across i think in some lights that have just rubbed people the wrong way and it just it created that was a perfect storm for like micah haters like micah haters have been out and full and in full strength grant even in my interview with him talked about the fact that like he's always shocked that like anytime TaylorMade or anyone posts anything micah the amount of hate that it gets like micah is in real life irl grant said it i've said it, i've talked to other people He's just a really cool, smooth, down to earth, easy going, nice guy. Like he's not ruffling feathers. He's not doing anything crazy. Like he's just a very, he's not going out and bragging and buying a bunch of crazy cars and a bunch of other stuff. He's not some, you know, rich YouTuber. Like he, he might have a lot of money, but he's not living like a rich YouTuber. So <laughs> the hate that he gets, it's just funny, right? And it's always been funny, but it never, in my opinion, was more apparent. And when TaylorMade would post, when TaylorMade would post Micah and when they would post Grant, you would get the like, why are they posting these like Joes over the pros? You have access to all the best TaylorMade pros. Nobody cares about these guys, whatever, which is like so wrong and <laughs> they're such idiots, but that's haters on the internet in general. They're always wrong. Anyways, they're posting them because they obviously actually have the most attention and the most amount of people interested in them. That's why they're signed with them. But you would see not just those comments with Micah, but then like ones attacking him for like the, the pro stuff. Again, I think a little bit of miscommunication from Micah about like, it really did sound like when he left good good that he was trying to play pro golf at the highest level he believed he could walk onto the pga tour essentially and that's just not the case we've cleared that up with him recently but because that kind of sounded like that and people had that assumption of him when he went and played in the cpj tour event and finished absolute dead last that was just fuel to the fire for the haters and that continued on so anyways you have seen it over the last nine to twelve months just every time he's posted on taylor Mays instagram just a slew of hate in the comments but a very interesting development in the Michael Moore's Tele <laughs> drama was the most recent post of him just absolutely mashing the QI 10 driver, just throwing it 191 mile per hour cruising ball speed, like launching the thing 335 carry distance, like pretty much like the best person TaylorMade has to hit their driver is hitting it. And the comments on Instagram were actually mostly positive with one that really stood out to me. And that was this top comment just basically being like, all right, here come all the pointless Micah Moores haters. And this really, this really just tripped something in my brain of like, you know how in the last couple years, 
well, I guess if you go back even like four to five years, we had like the come up of what feels like of like wokeness and like woke people and like shaming you and cancel culture and all that kind of stuff. And in the last like year, two years, I don't know about you guys, but that's dead. Like nobody cares. Like if you're one of those people who's just trying to like virtue signal and just like, man, I'm such a good person. Look at me do this. Look at me do this. And no, you're canceled because you said something 20 years ago. It's like people are canceling those people. Like that's over. Like people are like, you're stupid. Shut up. Like, no, like we're not listening to you. Like you don't get to feel special because you have this like opinion on the internet. That's just like stupid. No, like that stuff has been squashed. And I feel like almost the same way now, internet trolls comment trolls especially on youtube are starting to get squashed like i notice it in my videos sometimes every once in a while and it's quite rare you guys are amazing and i love you but there'll be a negative comment that pops up and you guys nate's anti-troll army is just there like the next four comments are always like you're an idiot no here's why he's doing this no you don't understand go away why are you even watching this video if all you're gonna do is hate like it's you guys just got my back and i love it and i feel like that that kind of I don't know, anti hate. And like it at the end of the day, <laughs> those of you guys who aren't YouTubers, it's like you start to realize over time, at least if you have a healthy mental relationship with this, which don't get me wrong, some people get real messed up in the head with the hate stuff because it, it can't mess with you. But I've been doing this a long time. I'm, you know, pushing 30 here. Like I'm very, I'm not pushing 30, I'm 28. I got lots of time. But my brain is fully developed and I've never really cared too much what other people think thankfully. And you just realize really quickly that these are just the most miserable people ever. Like when was the last time you watching this video right now commented something negative? Like you, you just have better things to do in your life. Like you're going to leave this video and you're going to go and you're going to have a great dinner with your girlfriend or your wife and you're going to play with your kid or you're going to go play some golf or you're going to go to the gym and you're going to work out and you're just, you're going to actually live a real life. Whereas the people who comment negative stuff, like they have nothing after this. Like th this is the pinnacle of their day is watching this getting mad and then commenting something negative like that's all they have going on in their life and so they're just losers like they always are every single time they're losers or they're unhappy people i try to i never ever engage with them because i try to exercise a bit of empathy in realizing that like i'm super happy i have such a good life and they don't and so i'm not gonna like a give them what they want which is a response but i'm also not gonna like come at them personally because you know whatever but what i think you guys should do Nate's troll army, Nate's anti-troll army is you guys go, you guys come out, you guys, you guys, and when you, ever you see that, just replace it. You, you, you can respond to them and tell them they're stupid, but you can also just leave the positive comments. And I think that really does go a long way for a lot of creators. So anyways, all this to say, I think the tides have shifted on Micah. I think his hour and a half long interview with me, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but a lot of the comments on that were like, wow, I really misunderstood Michael. Wow, I really didn't understand like how you know nice this guy actually is and what his persona actually is. And I had this misconception of him from leaving Good Good in the past and all his stuff, whatever. Like Micah doesn't do well in short form clips. He does much better in long form content. And I think that interview I've done with him now, it's almost at 150,000 views in a month. Like I think I don't want to say that has changed the tide, but I think it's helped. And I think the more time goes on and the more people get to discover who this guy is, the less hate there is and the more anti-hate there is, which I love to see. Anti-hate in the comments is my favorite thing. Going after the trolls and like preemptively being like, if you comment something negative on this, you're an actual idiot. This guy's hitting like 191 ball speed. Like you can't do that. Shut up. Like. I love that stuff. So anyways, guys, that's my take on it. I got obviously a little like inspired by just seeing that and seeing those comments. And I wanted to share my thoughts with you a little bit of a longer one, I'm assuming today, but I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.